Hi, I'm Guy Forlani. I am an ICF coach, a bilingual mentor, a trainer, an educator, an organic leader, and a noetician. But today I'm not gonna coach, I'm not gonna facilitate or train. Today I'm here as a protector, a protector of Earth, a protector of humanity. And so, in that facility, let me ask you a question. Would you tamper for a moment with a microwave oven in your kitchen? Would you tamper with it such that you can leave the door open and the microwave on? And then maybe inviting there your kids, your wife, your husband, your friends, your dear one, the one you love. Would you do that? With the door open and the microwave running. Hmm, probably not, isn't it? And why wouldn't you? Well, very simple. It's the cades and the cades that we know how dangerous can be the microwave even with the closed door. They taught us, in fact, to put it on, put the food inside, and then stay away one or two meters at least when it's running with the door closed. So, I have news for you. That is exactly what they want us to be into. A microwaves bath, 24-7. Who? Well, the likes of maybe Donald Trump, Xi Jinping, Vladimir Putin, Angela Merkel, Emmanuel Macron, maybe even Justin Trudeau. How will they do that? Very simply, by deploying 5G infrastructure on a pole near you. Not in a theater near you, on a utility pole near you. They will be deployed at 100 meters distance because microwaves, millimeter high microwaves, are the same millimeter waves produced by your microwave oven. So they are kind of dangerous, right? And they intend to deploy 25,000 satellites, hot air balloons, and self flying wings in between the top troposphere and the bottom stratosphere. And we know very well that our Earth atmosphere, it is a wonderful protective cloak, but it is also a containing cloak. And every wave that we produce on Earth stays within that. So the danger is real. And why would they do that? Again, very simply, at least the reason I know and you know they want to deploy the AI, a beautiful acronym, Artificial Intelligence. They want to deploy AI in order to have an Internet of Things all over the world. There is already an acronym for that too, the IoT, Internet of Things. They think and believe that that will bring and carry along the next wave of social uh, freedom, social wealth, cultural elevation and economic and financial boom. Well, I am have another advice. I am concerned that that might happen, but in that environment only artificial intelligence will survive. We have already studies on 3G and 4G and even 2G preceding 5G, showing that these kind of waves are dangerous, not to mention the danger of millimeter high microwaves of 5G. So I won't bore you today with the studies, 1600 plus peer reviewed studies and 200 case reviewed studies that show how 5G and 4G are harmful already well below the standard safety guidelines of Health Canada. I won't bore you with that, because you can have all that information on the Internet, connecting with us at Canadian for the Ethical Treatment of Humans at CETH.ca, connecting with us at Stop 5G Vancouver. If you need to have more knowledge about it and you don't have it, please take the time and do it. Do it for your kids, not just for yourself. Do it for the continuity 
of human species because 5G causes infertility, causes dementia, and causes Parkinson, and causes any form of cancer, causes a slew of autoimmune conditions, causes cardiac problems. But I won't speak about that. We don't have enough time here. My appeal today is to invite you to educate yourself and then go to speak with your MLA, go to speak with your MP for the upcoming election. What we want is a moratorium on 5G deployment until proven safe, until the level of the Health Canada safety guidelines are updated with reality. If you need to connect with me, feel free to connect with me. And if you need more information, connect with Joe Martino at collectiveevolution.com or connect with Josh Del Sol, which is running a 5G Awareness Summit running from August 26 to September 1st. And you can connect with him at the 5G Summit.com. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Be well and take care of your family. Thank you.